Where else will you find a 1.3 horsepower hot rod at the prices down below? And I know we've all thought, I'd love to have one of those induction heaters. Here it is at the link down below. Don't get biffled by the tool truck. What? This bad boy right here is on point. Hey, it's designed for removing O2 sensors, you know, heating up bolts and nuts and so forth. You know, truck bed bolts. If you've ever had to repair one of those bad boys or an O2 sensor bung, hey, this right here, a few hours on that, that'll save you in your labor rate. But check this out. A question that comes up with, how do we get this tool up underneath the front cap? No, you don't use that. You actually get a flexible unit here that you can wrap around those O2 sensors or rear end housings. So if you want to remove things like your wheel seals or races, hey, that's what this right here is designed for. But the other question that comes up is, I burnt my tip up, my lead don't work. Hey, for one thing, it comes with 12 different ones, different size diameters with it. But another thing is, there's a proper way to use it. And ideally, you don't wanna overheat it because if you overheat it, it's gonna burn these bad boys out. But it's just like a grinder, it's a consumable. So if you misuse it, you replace it. But the secret is, when you come up with these things here, you try to get the closest size diameter to it and then you hover it on the bolt or nut where you're not actually touching it. Because when you touch it, what actually happens, it burns that Kevlar coating off of it, and then it shorts the circuit. Now you've burnt the tip. Hey, another tip is, this is just a very hard, solid copper wire in here. And another thing is, that's basically exhaust wrap from a header. Hey, so I'm not saying it, but anyway, we move over to this bad boy here, and the tighter that you wrap this, the quicker that it's going to get hotter. So with that in mind, you keep a tight coil on it and it's going to get hot quicker. And the thing is, it, it says that you need to wrap it about three times minimum. So that way that you get a good current around it. And basically all you're doing at that point, you've got the tool hanging down underneath, you know, supported by your hands or so forth. And now you plug it in. And when you plug it in, the fan automatically kicks on. So that way it's not going to burn it up but it doesn't start heating until you press the red button. So you press the red button, and this is from a cold state here, and we're already hot just like that. So let's check this bad boy out. But we're talking a thousand watts on a hot rod here. So this right here is gonna save you time and money. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that bad boy is red just like that. What do we have it on, 10 seconds or so? And Whoa. that's the other thing. It's not designed to make it red hot cherry. What you want to do basically is just get it started for about maybe four to five seconds to get it warm. And then you'd use your wrench or ratchet or so forth to be able to pull this bad boy off. And if it's not, you know, say hot enough or not coming off, well, then you put your heat source back on it and you do it again. But again, if you get it red hot, now you are damaging your consumables and it's just not worth it in the long run. Protect your tool. And when it comes down to storing it, all you gotta do is just take an interior cleaner and wipe it off. These right here, you know, they might turn a little white and chalky or chalky, but hey, this is a simple machine here. This is a time saver and a money maker, but don't miss out on the sale that's down below because, you know, the flash sale is over with, but they've still got a nice sale to them. And one thing that I did notice is that these things right here are actually selling pretty quickly. And I think there's quite a bit in stock right now, but hey, I've looked at them the last two or three days and the numbers went down pretty quickly. So if you want one of these induction heaters, right now is the time to get one. Oh. What because up? that right there, imagine replacing that or cutting it out and welding it back in. But the hot rod made that happen. And I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. This right here is an awesome tool, but you gotta you know take precautions with it. You gotta take care on basically you know, maintenance on it. But when it comes down to it, this bad boy is sweet as can be. You can click the link down below to find out more details on it, but don't miss out on it. You can get it with or without the case. You can get multiple consumables, and they're replaceable. Damn. But this is one sweet tool. Don't miss out on it, guys.